Well, let's recap the day's work. What happened when I put the piano together and regulated it and voiced it? And of course, in, in history, these had all been played to the bone, to the wood. So all those were replaced using a used set of Steinway B, not a Steinway B hammers. So they're warmer in tone, actually, much prettier than you'd have with a stock hammer set. And these sounded beautiful, these sound beautiful, but right from here to here, it was just brassy and junky. And the reason is, when I looked at them, while they weren't through to the bone, they're junk. They, when you have a, a hammer, which is in this flat squat shape, and there's very little in the way of felt here, it doesn't matter how much needling you do here or how many chemicals, it, it will not work because the whole idea of, of a hammer is that it takes the whack here and then this absorbs all the hot energy around it. So you've got the, the hot hit point here on the string. It's got to whack it, but then the, the felt has to absorb the, um, you know, the hard vibrations, making it more of a thunk instead of thump, more of a thunk, okay? And these can only back, they can't thunk. So what I decided to do was these are all custom made, all made by hand from the big ones that came from the B, because I got 88 of them for $40. I happened to get shafts, I got knuckles, I got this. I also learned a new skill because all of these had to um, have brand new uh, pins put in here to, to make them so that they swing freely. You know, they, they move pretty, pretty darn well. And um, so they're all brand new. Of course, they've all got brand new pins and all that. E each one's a little different in how it swings. They're, they're all just a little different. Like one, two, three. That's typical for what they are. Um, and of course, they'll play in a little bit. But though that, that was a whole thing. I did videos on that for you. But that what I learned is when you have old belts on hammerheads, they're not going to sound good. They're going to sound really hot. And I can't live with that. I don't want that sound. I want rich tone, like a bigger piano, like, you know, as good as it can get. And if you know, if you take some time, you can, of course, build, as you can see, you could take and create the shape of a correct hammer out of the overage on a big one. And that was the methodology. These were laid over, I drew it with a pencil, went downstairs, created the undershape here, and then created the optimal shape for a hammerhead, and that is the optimal shape right there. So it's real exciting, it was a fun project, and so these are all custom built, and um, we'll have a lot of fun just, you know, dialing them in and <coughs> seeing what it's gonna take. The dots on the piano are for notes that I wanna just check that the regulation is okay, because <coughs> I did move the capstans. All of these, I still have to do the capstan readjust tomorrow, I'll have to adjust the let off and the drop and to make sure they're flush to the strings and make sure that they're in the correct position left to right. And, but I have no problem doing that work. I And my feeling about this whole thing was, I don't care what it takes to get this to give me the right sound, whatever it takes. So if it took a little bit extra work, I don't care, I'm not gonna complain about it as long as, you know, as long as when I'm all said and done, it sounds killer and sounds great. The rest of it, you know, comes and goes type thing. Um, fun to learn the new skill to take these apart. I may go back now and do a little bit with some of these other. Uh, I don't know. I did, really, the piano had pretty pretty free movement of, of of these joints compared to most. 
So anyway, that's where we're at. So tonight, these uh, the blue ones are marked because they need to be re-glued. So I'll be re-gluing them on this evening. And uh, they'll dry overnight. And then tomorrow, uh, all set with uh, going in and doing the regulating of this section again, a second time. You can see how high <laughs> these are. <laughs> you know, take a look, isn't that amazing? They're so much bigger, they're way up, way up. And they gotta come down about a sixteenth of an inch lower than this. And about this height, but maybe up one millimeter. That's the story. I hope that you've learned something. I did. Yeah. We're chasing tone. That's what voicing is all about, chasing optimal tone.